traders, FS5 Collector here. Today is Wednesday, August 21st, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So in the pound yen, I do think this is the end of a wave three, and very likely we are now in a very corrective overlapping pattern for the wave four. I think that it's most likely going to go down to the 50%. There's a lot of support right there in the past. So I think that's probably where this wave four will end and potentially go back up for wave five but keep in mind that this wave four is probably going to last at least six to eight months since it's on the monthly time frame taking it down to the weekly time frame i definitely think this is a wave a of wave four whether or not it's over or not i think it's still debatable i mean it could possibly already be in the wave b and then later on go down for wave c i'm still not really convinced about that i honestly still think there is a possibility that it might drift down again to finish off the wave a of wave four Taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, this move up does look pretty impulsive, which does kind of make you think that maybe this is already a wave A of the wave B. I mean, it could possibly go up, make a double top, and then go down, make a crescent like a wave B, and then go back up and make the wave C. And this would all be an A, B, C, or B on the weekly time frame. Definitely, definitely a possibility we got to keep in mind. But the fact that it hasn't broken structure still makes me think that there is a chance that this is going to go down. And we definitely, definitely still should be primarily looking for sorts on sort of time frame. Going down to the 4 hour time frame. Now if price breaks this high right here then I definitely would turn back into a buyer. But until that happens I would definitely be looking at this move up as possibly a question to this move down. If it makes a lower high, you know, a nice big engulfing move to the downside that I definitely would go sort again. I still suspect that this could be a wave 3, uh, an ABC of 4, and then go down for a wave 5 and this is actually still the wave A on the much much higher time frames. But like I said if it takes out this high right here I will happily start looking for longs on pullbacks. Going down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame I got my Fibonacci retracement on this move right here which is very very clearly five ways down. Very nice little five way pattern. Now this move up right here very easily could be a cut into the five ways down. So if we do get a nice Fibonacci bounce which honestly I would like to see three waves like that you know more of a proper ABC. So if we do get those three waves up to a Fibonacci retracement level and then a nice engulfing move to the downside, that is exactly the sort that I would be looking for, for potentially the continuation of the downtrend. Like I said, if it does go up and if it does break this 100% level, if it does break this high right here, then that definitely will cause me to start looking for longs on pullbacks. But until that happens, I'm definitely still primarily looking for sorts at the end of three-way pullbacks. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.